There are people out there whose perception of color is far more vivid, detailed and colorful than that of you and me. These people are called tetragrammats, and unlike us trichromats, they possess an additional fourth type of color receptor cell in their eyes that bestows the unique talent of extra colorful color vision upon them. My name is Ukoi, and in the following we will explore tetrachromacy, how tetrachromats are able to see more colors than they do, and how many new colors they can theoretically perceive. But first, we need to understand how normal color vision works. I've already covered this question in one of my previous videos. So I suggest you click the info card up there in the right corner of the screen and watch that video first, if you haven't already, in order to have a better understanding about the upcoming concepts and visualizations. The following examples will concentrate on yellow tetrachromacy, as it is believed to be the most common type of tetrachromacy adding an extra fourth type of color receptor cell for yellowish light to our trichromatic color vision, thereby giving us tetrachromatic color vision, causes a cascade of new perceivable colors. All already existing colors, depending on how extensive the range of the new yellow cone is, should in theory get duplicated into two distinguishable colors. One of them is the original color, and the other one is a combination of the original with the new tetrachromatic yellow color. At this point I have an obligation to intervene. While tetrachromats do perceive more colors, they do not perceive more of the electromagnetic light spectrum. This limits the color vision superiority to the visible range. This means that we can see the same light range as tetrachromats do but tetrachromats subjectively perceive this light with more colors and thereby can differentiate differences in wavelength more easily. In order to better understand how tetrachromacy works, we should first observe how colors shift and change when we upgrade a dichromatic to a trichromatic color vision. If we upgrade a protonopia, and this means a red vision color vision, and a type of red-green blindness, where the only perceivable and distinguishable colors are blue, green and white, and at a trichromatic red, the following happens. Blue will split into a blue and a red blue. Green will split into a green and a red green and cyan is created where the original dichromatic colors intersect as there are enough color differences for the cyan range to emerge as its own color. So the original two colors are doubled to four in addition to the new red color. With trichromacy you thereby see three more colors than with dichromacy. The corresponding equation reads as follows. N, this is the original primary plus secondary color quantity, times 2 plus 1, equals the upgraded color dimensionality. We can now apply this handy equation to the color dimension upgrade from a trichromatic to a type yellow tetrachromatic color vision. 7 times 2 plus 1 equals 15, including white. This means that tetrachromats see 7 more distinct colors, in addition to a more whitish white. In this way, we can also calculate the amount of perceivable distinct colors in pentachromacy and above. You should already be familiar with the visual representation of trichromacy. That is just three big overlapping dots. Here all trichromatic primary colors form secondary colors plus white. However, an adequate visual representation of yellow tetrachromacy looks like this. All primary colors are depicted as ovals that intersect with each other. In addition to the normal primary colors, there is a yellow variant of each of them, plus a true yellow. Lime green and orange, which sometimes can be hard to differentiate from pure or near green and red, become as easily distinguishable as green and red from yellow. Trichromats are able to make out the same color differences as tetrachromats, 
But while you may be having a hard time distinguishing lime green from real green in certain situations and light conditions, tetragrammets instantly and intuitively can make out the difference more easily. If the new type of coreceptor cell is distinct, and that means if its wavelength responsiveness is based apart enough from the other three types of coreceptor cells, tetrachromatic vision literally creates an additional rainbow of colors that's mixed into the already present trichromatic color rainbow. With this said, for me tetrachromacy is fascinating, but it also leaves behind a bitter taste because I am not a tetrachromat, but I really want to see what and how beautiful the world looks like with tetrachromatic vision. The good news is that I've already done the research on this and found a way to simulate tetrachromacy as a neurotypical trichromat. Exploring the question on how to simulate yellow or rather green tetrachromacy and thereby being able to perceive more color differences will be the topic of one of my next videos. Furthermore, there are real people out there who are born with functional tetrachromatic vision and who learn to make good use of it. I'll introduce you to several of those in another one of my upcoming videos. So stay tuned and subscribe in order to fetch new ways to experience life. I am Ukwai and I will show you how to reshape and enhance your sensory experiences because it is nothing but our senses that connect us to this world. Thanks for watching.